Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step strategy for how to turn $10,000 into $1 million by investing into Centrifuge. We're going to briefly break down what Centrifuge is, and I say briefly because we made an entire video going through literally everything you need to know regarding Centrifuge. So this one, I'm just going to give you the high level. I'm going to go through my exact take profit strategy. And then if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you my yield farming strategy for how you can accumulate centrifuge via triple digit yields so that you'll have more to sell once your take profit strategies are reached. So instead of it being 10K into a million, you might be able to accumulate a little more, maybe 12K, maybe 13K, maybe 11K total and turn that into one point something else million. So before we get started, I do have to say this video should not be taken as financial advice. Please consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. This video is for your education purposes only. All right, so without further ado, let's jump straight into the content. So let's start off with briefly explaining what Centrifuge is. This will take about two minutes. So Centrifuge, and this is from their website, is the infrastructure that facilitates the decentralized financing of real world assets natively on chain. They're creating a fully transparent market which allows borrowers and lenders to transact without unnecessary intermediaries. Asset pools are fully collateralized, liquidity providers have legal recourse, and the protocol is asset class agnostic, meaning it doesn't matter what asset you wanna finance. It's asset class agnostic with the pools for assets spanning mortgages, invoices, micro lending, and even consumer finance. Ultimately, the protocol aims to lower the cost of borrowing for businesses around the world while providing DeFi users with a stable source of collateralized yield that is uncorrelated to the volatile crypto market. Guys, it's really important to have a stable source of collateralized yield uh, that's uncorrelated with the crypto markets. The reason why is because it's, it's gonna make it so that crypto doesn't have to tank as hard during a bear market. I tell people all the time, one of the biggest reasons why we're in this bear market is for two reasons. One, centralized actors being dishonest, Sam Bankman fried, Celsius, like that whole nine. But the second reason is too much leverage, which cost for selling. And when it comes to leverage, the collateral that people are using in crypto is crypto. So when the value of your collateral drops, you get liquidated and now your crypto drops. Well, the value of your collateral wouldn't drop so much if it wasn't correlated to the market. So if you imagine if you were able to go on a money market fund like Ave or Compound, and your collateral is a US treasury or a stock or a bond or you know a piece of real estate that doesn't fluctuate or isn't correlated with the crypto markets. Now you're gonna be able to take out leverage safer and when you know Bitcoin drops, you don't have to worry about your collateral as much. Hopping back into it, by bringing the entire structured credit market on chain across securitization, tokenization, privacy, governance, and liquidity integrations, Centrifuge is building a more transparent, affordable, and limitless financial system. So guys, basically just think about this as Aave or Compound, where you can deposit anything and get an APY, right? So let's say you can deposit a deed to your house, and I'm giving you a high-level example. I haven't used Centrifuge. You deposit the deed to your house, you deposit a U.S. Treasury, you deposit some invoice where you have, you know, net 20, net 30, net 60, net 90 day terms, you know, any other kind of asset, and then you're able to borrow against it. Just picture that working through Compound or Aave, just to give you an easy example. Now, Centrifuge's mission is that they're building a protocol to harness the power of blockchain technology and make finance accessible to all. And they talk about the importance of credit and how it's essential for a functioning economy and it's the key driver to business growth. Guys, I made a video on crypto and blockchain's best use and I've talked about how it was property rights. The concept of credit, too much credit is bad. It causes recessions, depressions, inflation, but not enough credit is even worse, it's deflation. And if you don't have credit, you have a third world country. Let me give you an example. It's a good book called The Mystery of Capital. And basically it talks about this whole topic, but just to give you the high level, if you can't prove ownership of something, you can't extend credit. If you can't extend credit, you can't pay people to build certain things and create new jobs. If you can't do that, you basically have a third world country. If you look at any third world country, the one thing that they have in common, amongst other things I'm sure, is that their property rights system is messed up. It sucks. They can't prove who owns what when, and since you can't prove who owns something, not only do the people have to own things illegally, just think of the favelas, but they can't generate credit from their asset. In some places in the world, it can take you five to 20 years to prove that you own your home or to prove that you own a business. Who the hell got that kind of time? You have to own it illegally, but you can't 
generate any credit from it and that sucks. They go on to say only the largest businesses get direct access to liquid capital markets. This is not the same access available to small and medium sized enterprises or SMEs. The average cost of capital for the global 2000 is 1% compared to 15% for SMEs. The lack of an open and transparent marketplace denies SMEs access to competitive borrowing rates. And so, you know, most of the businesses in America and in the world are small businesses. Like they're the backbone. If they can't borrow money or if borrowing money is too expensive for them, you know, it just hurts everyone else. Now that we know what centrifuge is, let's look at some data and kind of go over why I'm so bullish on them. So here we are at rwa.xyz, which stands for real world assets. I've made videos covering multiple real world asset protocols, Pendle Finance, Maple Finance, et cetera, et cetera. I made a video on what I think will be the largest four narratives to create wealth in this coming bull market. Real world assets is my favorite one. So I'm really focusing in on this industry. So if we go here and you go to private credit and you scroll down, you can see that Centrifuge is number one in active loans. Maple Finance is number one in total loans, but Centrifuge is number one in active loans with $268 million in active loans right now. Far ahead, almost double what, what Maple is doing, right? They did total loans of 516 million. Average APY is 8.8% and they have a pretty low cash drag. Cash drag is percentage of idle capital in the protocol. So only 0.19% isn't being used. That's not too bad. At least it's not 15% or 29%, et cetera, et cetera. Also, if you go to CoinGecko and you hit categories and you type in real world assets, there isn't even a real world asset protocol that's in the top 100 and there will be at the peak of the bull market. You can see Centrifuge is number three. Normally, People will just ape into the top 10 and hope that they'll make money. And you know, that's not a bad strategy, but it's good to kind of know what you're doing. So Centrifuge is already at number three. Their market cap is 300 million, give or take. So just from the fact that people know RWA is gonna be a huge narrative and Centrifuge is up there, They've been around for a while. I think it's pretty safe to assume that's gonna, that it's gonna have an epic pump. All right, so now that you guys know why I'm bullish on Centrifuge, let's cover my exact take profit strategy and I'm gonna show you how I plan on turning $10,000 into over $1 million. All right, guys, so we always talk about the importance of having a plan of getting out before you get in. It's good to come up with multiple take profit plans so that if one of them gets hit, you're able to protect yourself. Going even further, it's good to come up with an estimate as to what market cap you think it'll reach, come up with a conservative estimate as well as an aggressive estimate and make it so that even if the conservative estimate isn't reached or if it exceeds the aggressive estimate, you're still able to profit handsomely. Okay, and that's what we did here. So let's go over this. So I'm expecting centrifuge to 65x, guys, from current prices. That means every dollar you invest at the peak, if it's 65 X's, it'll be worth $65. So right now the price is 64 cents. The market cap is 303,441,084. I'm estimating conservatively that we'll see a $20 billion market cap at the peak. And for my aggressive estimation, I'm thinking we'll hit a $60 billion market cap. So with that in mind, let's go through this. You start off with 10K. First take profit is when they do a 10X. All right. And I know this sounds pretty aggressive, but I have other take profit strategies where I'm a little more conservative and this one I'm really, really convicted on. So I don't mind risking it for that biscuit. You feel me? So after a 10 X, that's going to turn the price from 64 cents to $6 and 40 cents. And that's going to bring the market cap to three billion three thirty four million four hundred and ten thousand eight hundred and forty dollars It'll bring my, it'll turn my 10 K into 100K. At that point, I'm taking 20K in profits. I have 80K left. My next take profit is when Centrifuge does a 3X. So now the price will go from $6.46 to $19.38, and it'll bring the market cap to 9,103,232,000. $520. That point, my 80K is going to be worth 240K and I'm taking off $40,000 in profits. So I got 60K in profits so far total. At that point, I'll have $200,000 left. My third take profit is going to be when it does a 3X. It'll bring the price from $19.38 to $58.14 if I'm reading that right. <laughs> my mom always said it looks like I write with my feet. Anyway, that'll bring the market cap from 9 billion to 27 billion, 309 million, 697,000. $560. At that point, my 200K will be worth 600K and I'll take $250,000 in profits. My next take profit, 
I'll have 350K left will be when they do a 2X. I accidentally didn't write down the price, but that's okay, you can do the math. Another 2X will bring the market cap to $54,619,395,120, and it'll turn my 350K to 700K. At that point, I'm taking off 450K in profits. So now, I have a total of $760,000 in profits. If you notice, we're right on the heels of our aggressive estimate. I like to take profits profits before even levels are hit. That's why I took profit at the 9 billion versus wait till it got to 10 because it might come back down and reject that level and it might be another chance for me to get back in and make even more money. But with the remaining 250K I have, you just turned a $10,000 investment to $1.010 million, guys. Congratulations. So you're probably wondering what I'm gonna do with the remaining 250K. Well, at that point, I'm gonna be thinking we're getting closer to the top. I can't time the top, but the more it goes up, that's why I take more profits because it's a higher likelihood that we're getting to the top. Well, it's true that we're getting closer to the top. So I'm gonna be taking a 50% take profit every 10% increase. Or I'm gonna sell all of it if Bitcoin either hits 200K or it starts to tank and it drops below a previous strong level of support. All right, so now that you guys stuck around to the end, let's cover my yield farming strategy. And I'm gonna show you how you can accumulate centrifuge via triple digit yields at pretty low risk. All right, let's jump into it. So the first thing I wanna do is pick my range. So. This could be a good range. It's been in this range pretty much since November of 2023. If it gets to the downside, hey, I'm cool with that. You buy the dip, you hold it, you exit, and now you can make more money as it goes back up. I would recommend setting it in tranches and using yield firm as a way to take profits. So you can maybe have one between this line. You can have another one from this line to here another one from here to here and you kind of just you would be deploying your ranges in all usdc since it's to the upside and as it goes to your ranges you're able to take profits but let's just look at this one so the next step why am i doing centrifuge usdc now why not centrifuge eth or something like that if you scroll down you can see that most of the liquidity 13 percent of all the trading behind coinbase and okx is happening on uniswap v3 with centrifuge usdc if i do centrifuge wrapped eth that's only 0.64 percent 24 hour volume is eleven thousand dollars so if we go to uniswap and you type it in that reflects here you can see the usdc centrifuge has a way higher tvl this one the tvl is only 15k volume is really low but this is a really good pool because the tvl is fairly low and if you guys watched the video I made on the difference in the comparison between market making versus yield farming, you'll see me talk about how pairs with low liquidity offer higher fees. They offer a higher bid to ask spread. Let me show you. Let's say I'm on Uniswap and I wanna buy $60,000 worth of wrap centrifuge. You can see that the slippage is 15.69%. Now that sucks if you're a trader, but that's really good if you're a liquidity provider because that goes to you. And the reason why is because the amount that you're trying to trade is pretty significant and pretty close to the total TVL. So that slippage goes to liquidity providers. Plus, I believe this is a 1% pool as well. So you get 1% on the transaction plus the trading fees plus the slippage. So if we go to builder metrics and I made a video on this and you type in the ranges that I showed you, with the $1,000 deposit, you can be making a yearly APR of 124.82% if you were in this range for the past 60 days. So per month, you could have made $102.59. If you were in it for a whole year, obviously 1,200. And this is only with a $1,000 deposit, guys. Free money with a pretty wide range. And if you look here, you can see that the risk is low, the volume to TVL ratio is pretty high, and the TVL is pretty low, guys. So this is a pretty good pool to be in. Guys, if you like this kind of content and you wanna learn how to manage your portfolio like a professional, including yield firming, your cash position, picking the right assets, mastering your entries and your exits, after being able to look at a chart and know what's going on, click the link in the description or visit knowitalice.xyz and book a free strategy session. Talk to one of the members of our team and we'll see if this program is a good fit for you. We have our Know It Owl Academy course that goes through literally everything you need to know. After you're done, you get access to myself and our professional coaches that do this for a living. If that sounds like you, if you're self-motivated and you're serious about investing, we love to hear from you and we love to work with you. But with that, I'd like to conclude this video. If you got value, I ask that you consider subscribing, drop a like, drop a comment, share with a friend. Let me know what RWA protocol you want me to cover next. But with that, I thank you guys so much for watching. I love every single one of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and trade safe.